Kevin Benedict, Smack Analyst of Cognizant, reporting live this week from Sapphire 2013. I have the privilege of spending time with Sintel. We've known each other for many years, yep. uh, ever since the Boise days right. and extended systems and way back when. Now, you're the Vice President of Product Management for Mobile Security, and you're responsible for SAP's a far, uh, what is it, Afaria in the Cloud Edition? Yeah, we announced yesterday, Kevin, as you know, by the way, great to see you again. Yeah. By the way, great to see you again. Yeah. <laughs> uh, we announced yesterday a, a new portfolio called Mobile Secure. Okay. Uh, Sanjay Poonan announced it yesterday. Yeah. And that portfolio has a lot of products. Uh, the products include a newly launched Afaria Cloud product. We call it the SAP Afaria Cloud Edition. In addition to the application uh, management product that we are partnering up with Mokana, mm -hmm. and a mobile content management product called Mobile SAP Mobile Documents, and a few other uh, products, uh, what we feel in this space is uh, MDM is getting commoditized, uh, but we certainly feel that the market and the BYD uh, sort of uh, use case uh, requires not just securing your device and managing it but also securing the applications and also providing uh, securing any content in the applications. The security is becoming a key factor in making these devices proliferate as well as provide that level of security for the enterprises. So uh, we are basically using all the portfolio we have and partnering with other uh, players to offer the enterprises that level of security across the board. So cloud is a new thing. Yes. So, what went into the effort to put Afari in the cloud? Yeah, it's, uh, you know, obviously Afari has been around for a while. We've had some tremendous uh, features that we've added in the last 12, 18 months to bring Afari to a more BYD and a self-service portal type of uh, approach. Uh, so this is an extension to that. Uh, we've taken Afari, we've added analytics to it uh, using our business and safety business intelligence. And we've also added some uh, capabilities on the connectivity side so that your cloud is now connected to the enterprise very securely. So we put them all together in a very scalable model and using Amazon's uh, AWS infrastructure to make this available um, across the globe. There are certain countries we still have to work on for the data protection, but uh, the launch is um, pretty much global at this point. So this, the challenge of kind of converting Afari into a cloud-based solution it's not just a technology challenge, you've also, I understand, created a new business model. That's right, so the one thing which we have done, as I mentioned earlier, MDM is a commodity, and uh, we felt that everybody wants to um, use MDM, and uh, we wanted to keep the, the cost low so that the decision for going to the cloud and MDM becomes a, what we call a cup of coffee per month decision. So we've introduced this product at a great rate of uh, one euro that translates to around dollar eleven, one 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 per device per month. And that basically takes away IT sort of decision about you know TCO because um, you know you, even if you just buy hardware and put somebody to manage on premise, the cost uh, you know is going to be much more than you know a dollar eleven that you would otherwise right. spend on the cloud. So we wanted to basically take a decision away from IT, make it easy for them to embrace the cloud solution, and then provide all these additional services that we're offering on our mobile secure to get to the next level. Got it, so that starts then making you guys very competitive with many other solutions out there that are cloud-based. Yes. AirWatch you know, and things like that. You know, all yeah. the com competitors have, over time, you know, they've tried to take their products into the cloud. Some of them have done it, some of them are in the process of doing it. Uh, the way I would differentiate ours is that uh, we've used a product that has scaled a lot. In the, you know, our, we are known for um, our scalability. We have customers of several hundred thousand mm -hmm. um, across the board, uh, uh, world that is. So our challenge really is not the product, whether it scales or not, because that's, that already does. Our challenge is to make sure how easy it is to use, to consume, as well as to provide additional services. So the three things we've done, which we like to highlight is, first of all, the price, you know, one euro per device per month or one dollar eleven is a great price for people to adopt easily. So if you have an iPad and a laptop, 
the three of those would be like 333. That's right. We support Windows Phone 8, um, Android devices, both tablets and the uh, phones, as well as iOS initially. Obviously, we'll expand that to others. But the security pricing is based on if you have per three device. devices, it would be $1.11 right. per device. Yeah, okay. that, that makes sense because, you know, it is a, it is a very deterministic cost number of devices. Yeah versus a per user charge where you may want to guess on how many devices you may have for a user. And so we don't want to have any guessing work here, you know, make it very mm -hmm. simple. And the second one we've done is we make it very partner friendly. So this site is co-brandable and all that stuff. So if you are a partner who are trying to resell our solution, um, this, they have a presence on all the portfolio we have, from the portals to the devices and, and, and the administration and everything. So their presence is there. So we'll help them on the marketing side as well. So I think that is a good one for our partners to sort of resell our solution. And the third one is the analytics. Uh, we are inter you know, integrating the whole SAP BI into the product without additional cost. So you get our over 40 reports, which are predictive analytics, which are you know compliance reports for your CIOs, as well as board level you know financing from a TEM, telecom expense management. We can provide all of them in a very easy to use BI software that you know you know millions of people already use. Oh wow! So tell me, why would anybody want to use an on-premise version of Aphoria? Well, there are certain um, cases where companies who are still you know making that decision about whether to go to the cloud or not, um, and there are certain uh, companies which you would like from a regulatory perspective to keep it on-prem. So you know, as far as you're concerned, we are going to be do for doing both. Uh, the cloud is going to make it easier for them to evaluate, and then maybe they will want to bring it down to, to uh, an on-premise solution. So it's pretty fluid because the product line is one, it's not two, so that makes it easy for us to support both of the different models. Very good. Well, I want to thank you so much, Sentil, for sharing with all of us today. Thank you, Kevin.